It was wonderful to have a gathering of our three churches, Our Lady of Sorrows, Our Lady of Fatima, and also the cathedral. We come together uh, as a church, truly believing in Jesus Christ. And he invites us through the Acts of the Apostles to be reminded of who we're called to be and how we're called to live. Uh, he calls us into his love through his commandments as we love God with our whole heart and soul and mind and strength as we love our neighbor as ourselves we begin to really open ourselves up to God's love and God's mercy on this divine mercy Sunday and it's an invitation really for us to come to know Jesus to really come to know him and that's really what St. John was writing about in his letter to us this morning. Uh, he was saying to us that Jesus came to us with water and blood. Water that we have flowing here in the font. And each of our young people who are to be confirmed are going to renew their baptism promises. That moment of commitment to Jesus Christ, that moment also when you became sons and daughters of in a very special way. It's a reminder to us as a community of faith that the same thing has happened to us. And in blood through the Eucharist. And his blood is very much symbolic of his death. And that's really where we find St. John writing us about uh, the, the disciples and how they experienced the death of Jesus. And it really was for them a devastating moment. Uh, you know, all of us, of course, are wearing masks, and so we've got the corona thing going on still. We're doing better. It's wonderful. Uh, however, it's a sign that there's a woundedness in our world. There's a woundedness in our lives. There's a woundedness in, really, our relationship with God. And so we really do need Jesus appearing to us, risen from the dead, through St. John's Gospel, and speaking to us very personally as he appeared to the disciples and he said, peace be with you. Now that's actually what I said to you at the very beginning of Mass, is that peace be with you and thank God you also said it with your spirit. So I'm with you, I'm hoping, yeah, Bring on that piece of heaven. I'm ready. Hit me with it, Lord. Hit me. Hit me hard. <clears throat> if I was at a lady of salt right now, they'd be saying, Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> so, get into this with me. All right, here we go. So the Lord is calling us to meet him risen from the dead. The first thing he did, the risen Lord Jesus in the midst of the disciples, showed him showed them his hands and his side. And that was to say to them, I am one with you. I know your wound. I know your hurt. I know your suffering. I know your pain. I know your difficulties. I know it all. Come, experience my life and be healed. Be healed. And the disciples couldn't get enough of him. And of course, in this corona time, it's hard for us to truly hug one another. But you can imagine them gathered around him, powerful, as we are today. We're gathered around him. And right now, because of this whole thing, we're having to do air hugs, all right? But that still works. It's an air hug. So I'm giving you an air hug. And I'm saying to you, Amen, brother. Thank God. <laughs> so, you know, the Lord calls us into that special love relationship that is His for us. And He's saying to us, I love you that much, that I want to show you that death has no more power over us to believe. That He has risen from the dead and said to us, I'm alive, I'm in your midst, and I am in love with you. You. Now, having said that, we know in St. John's Gospel that Thomas was not there. 
And Thomas, in many ways, represents us in life. Because when stuff happens in life, we often turn to the Lord and say, What? Why? Give me an answer. Why did that happen? Why do I have this illness? Why did I have this happen in my family? Why did this happen? And it's, it's really Thomas's wound. And of course, we hear in St. John's Gospel that, that Thomas was there the next time Jesus appeared to them. And Jesus, turning to, them, to him in great mercy, says, Thomas, come, put your hand in my side. Touch my hands. Stop your unbelief, but believe, believe. And that's the invitation for us from the risen Lord Jesus. He's saying to us, touch my wounds of the risen body. Touch my wounds and be healed, and be healed, and be healed. If I have to say it again with an amen, I'm in trouble. Amen. So be healed, be healed. Let his healing touch you and bless you and be with you personally. Whatever is going on in your life. Because Jesus is appearing to us too today. We have the miracle on the altar happening with his body and blood. And as we receive Holy Communion, it truly is a moment to experience Jesus crucified, but also to touch Jesus risen from the dead. Wow. And today during this Mass, He's also breathing on these young people, all of us too, but on these young people especially, his spirit, as he did in the gospel. And he's inviting each of these young people, along with us, to be open to his spirit risen from the dead and those gifts that are given to us. So my young people, you're going to need your holy cards now, in case you have a brain freeze, okay? So proclaiming to the whole church the gifts of the Spirit that you're praying for, you say, I'm praying for what gifts? Wisdom. Give me an amen, community. Amen. Yay. Yay. So, they're, so they're praying for the wisdom of God to touch them just as the wisdom of God has touched us in confirmation. They're praying for the understanding of God in their lives and the knowledge of God in their lives to really direct them and to be able to seek the counsel of God, to know what's right and what's wrong in their lives, to be young people of faith called to live that faith with fortitude, strength, to be able to speak the name of Jesus no matter what to be a people of prayer who offer themselves to God in prayer and grow in relationship with God's love especially. And to be a people who realize that we are creations of God. God loves us that much. He created us. And so the fear of the Lord, God blessing each of us. Our prayer for you is that you receive all seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Spirit, give me another amen. 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 So those to be confirmed, please stand.